G'day, g'day, welcome back to the channel. My name's Aaron and in this video, we are learning the macaque owl, the monkey flip. Let's go. So the macaque owl or the monkey flip comes from capoeira. It's a round the side flip off one arm. It's a great entrance into soft acrobatics. And today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a little bit of a warm up, and then we're gonna get straight into the progressions. Okay, so to warm up for the macaque owl, we need to warm up the hands, the wrists, the shoulders, and the hips and spine. So what I like to do is start with the hands. These are called heel raises. As you can see, I just like to raise up to my first knuckles, do 10 or 15 of those. Then I like to warm up my scapula. I'll do 10 or 15 of those. Then what I like to do is stretch out the hips because when we do the macaque owl, we're flipping over. So opening up the hips a bit, just for a couple of minutes is a good idea. It's also a good idea just to warm up the squat, just to warm up the ankles and hips. Okay, so the good news about the macaco is you don't really need any prerequisites. However, a gymnastic bridge would be pretty helpful. I don't really have a good one. So this is my favorite warm up for the shoulders. I like to just turn over and do this sort of a half bridge just on both arms. And I really push as hard as I can with that supporting arm. Oh. Notice too, I'm really pushing with my glutes, my butt, really trying to raise my hips up. And I'll just do 10 of these to warm up. Okay, progression one, the hand placement. So you need to pick an arm. If you're new to this, pick your dominant arm. I'm right-handed, so my right arm is just naturally stronger. Get into a squat position. Place your chosen supporting arm behind you, fingers facing away. So I want you to just get used to that. If you're using the left hand, it would look like this. Fingers facing away. Okay, so once you're familiar with the hand placement, fingers pointing away from you, what I want you to do is just be a little monkey. Be a little monkey and run around that hand until you're facing the other way. So if you're using your left hand, get your hand in place, fingers pointing away, now be a little monkey. Hey! That is the position we want. Progression number two, the jump around. So we take step one, fingers facing away, the hand is placed. All I want you to do is just step around the side. Step around the side. Step around the side. What you'll notice is, if you throw that second arm a little, it will help. So just get used to that. If you're going off the left arm, place it. Hop. Okay, step three. So once you get used to going around the side, the next thing we wanna focus on is extending the hips. All the power comes from the hips and throwing that second arm back. The more vertical you throw that second arm, the more straight you'll go instead of around the side. So just work up to it gradually. So I like to just start by going around the side and slowly get more and more vertical. Okay, so with the landing, you have a few choices. You can land on two feet, uh, which would be the same as the back tuck or the back flip. 
which you can progress to using this movement to get over that fear of going backwards. Or you can land on one foot, which can just add a different look to the movement. So let's have a look at each. Two feet. One foot. Okay, so as you get more comfortable with this, you can extend more and more in that bridge position and really try to get as vertical as you can. Oh, something like that. When you get really good at it, you can end up in handstand, which I'm just still learning how to do. Something like that. Okay, so if going over backwards is just a bit advanced for you at this stage, what you can do is a modified macacao with a split leg uh, variation, which I still think looks really cool. And I use it a bit to incorporate into soft acrobatic flows and locomotion. So uh, this is what it looks like. From the other side. So still, still looks pretty cool, I think. So how do we do this one? The key here is same setup as the macacao. The hand goes back, fingers facing away from you. But what you want to do then is the leg on the same side as the supporting arm needs to kick first. So you still do the hip drive and the arm drive, but what you want to do is kick that first leg out to the side to generate the momentum. So if I was going from the left, like so. So you can get some nice pirouettes and spins to incorporate into flows from there. So if the macacao is a training tool for you to get over the fear of learning to backflip or back tuck, then what you wanna do is focus on the flip component of the macacao as you get more advanced, as you get more vertical, you wanna to start to add a pop so that you actually leave the ground like this. Just to get used to that backflip action. And this will serve you very well when it comes to learning the back tuck. <laughs> okay, so if you're interested in turning this into a backflip or a back tuck, uh, eventually what you need to focus on doing is going from open hips to closed hips. So you've got to get that tuck as you flip over. See so why I close the hips very, very quickly. You wanna get that snap because when you do your back tuck, you're gonna extend and tuck. So it's a good drill to get used to closing those hips. If you wanna try and turn it into a handstand or something more elegant and graceful and long, you need to keep those hips open for as long as you can. And the tip I'll give you to finish in handstand is to delay the hips delay that hip lift uh, and you'll, you'll float a bit more and find that equilibrium a little easier because in the beginning, you'll probably over rotate quite a lot. So just some tips. If your focus learning the macacao is elegance, then you wanna try and get that big, long, beautiful arch and you might focus on the single leg landing. So more something like this. Looks a little bit more graceful. I'm still a bit primitive, but. And you don't always have to use the second hand to support you unless you want. You can just continue with the one arm. I like to put my second arm down for support. So if you're interested in learning the soft acrobatics or locomotion and incorporating macacao into that sort of stuff, here's an easy combo for you. It's a, an owl or a cartwheel 
uh, into Macau. So very simply, we're gonna do a very basic into Macau. So that's one way to combine it into something very easy. So why learn the monkey flip? Well, they're fun, uh, plain and simple. Pure fun, F-U-N. But also you'll be the coolest dad at the barbecue when you just rip one of these babies out. Or mum, you'll be the coolest mum at the barbecue. Whoosh! Take that kids, hold my beer. Okay, so that is it for the macacow. I hope you enjoyed yourself, I certainly did. I'm not the most technically perfect, brilliant acrobat. I only just started this stuff a few years back, but you know what? I'm having a lot of fun, so I hope you do too. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.